8,500 kilometers away on the island of Borneo, the climate looks made for termites. The rainforest is constantly humid, warm, and well shaded. This is probably the sort of habitat where termites originated. These species have it made. No need to stay underground out of the heat or dig deep for water. For their nests, they have hollow tree trunks. Unlike their dry wood termite cousins in America, these termites don't eat the timber they live in. So they have to launch food gathering forays every 10 days. Scouts have identified a harvesting site and mapped out an ideal route through the congested landscape. A gland on the scout's abdomen lays a pheromone track for the others to follow. Their dark chitin shell allows them some exposure to sunlight. This is where the harvesters go to work. A patch of lichen clinging to a tree, up to 100 meters from the nest. That's 15 kilometers on a human scale. These harvesters, young worker termites with their small, sharp jaws, won't eat anything out here. They'll scratch, graze, and gather all they can at a frantic pace because the entire army is operating to a schedule. In less than 30 minutes, this trunk is scraped clean. Time to hand over to the transporters. A division of labor established 100 million years ago. This one will wait until he has his full load. And then he's off. The harvesters and transportation workers suddenly know it's time to be getting back. Unless they get sidetracked. The crinkly white paste on the pitcher plant's rim is termite caviar, enough to distract them from an entire lichen tree. But the rim and the inside of the pitcher are super slippery. A single plant with several pitchers can fill up with thousands of termites that it slowly digests. The termites bring home half a kilo of raw plant material to feed a million termites for about 10 days. Perfect organization without any organizer. But being out in the open is risky, and the biggest risk is dehydration. That means sunny spots must be crossed as fast as possible. Gaps in the canopy are a problem. Logging is a disaster. Termites have softer exoskeletons than ants. Keep them in the sun too long, and they boil. When the sun comes out, they huddle in the shadows. 
or they put on a burst of speed to get home fast. These termites prefer to exit in the morning or afternoon when the sun is warming up or cooling down. Their thin skins also can't cope with cold fog and rain. The rain clouds pass, the march goes on. This expedition has gone well with no predator attacks. The losses to the carnivorous plants will go unnoticed. Once back at base, the colony will stay underground for 10 days, processing the harvest, tending to the brood. 